This has been a dream of mine forever, for my entire life. Ironically, I will now be doing my first ever Nutcracker performance in the town that originally rejected me. So, fun fact, not wearing pants, but I am in the middle of getting ready to go to something very special. I am about to head out, catch a train, because I think I'm going to be in my very first performance of the Nutcracker. I have never ever been in or seen the Nutcracker. I know, it's shocking. Everyone thinks it's crazy and it makes me almost a ballet imposter, some might say. But uh, yeah, I've had a long complicated history with ballet and the art of dance. You can watch that video here if you haven't seen it. So this is very exciting for me. Um, <laughs> well, there's people outside my window screaming, but I am also internally screaming because I am so excited. Why am I saying I think I'm gonna be in it though? Well, okay, I'm gonna get dressed and then I will explain. I'll give you all the details. Okay, that's better. So, Let's chat. What the heck is going on? So, my friend's parents are actors and they're big into this theater on Long Island. They said that they might be able to get me in and tonight, I just found this out a couple days ago, but tonight is the very first rehearsal. Now, it has always been a dream of mine to be a part of the Nutcracker but I really know nothing about it because <laughs> quite frankly, it's been a little bit too painful for me to watch my entire life. So I've just generally kind of avoided it. I think I'm just gonna be an extra in what's known as the party scene. Uh, yeah, turns out there was gonna be a little bit more to this than just standing around in the background pretending to be at a party, but we'll get to that. For now, enjoy my blissful lack of awareness. If you know the Nutcracker, you're probably finding all of this hilarious because I, I just don't know what's going on. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure it's a rehearsal. I hope to God it's not an audition because I have nothing prepared for an audition. I just, I don't really have too much, too many details because I only just found out about all of this. For reference, my workshop, my very first dance workshop that I did was just the other day. So it's been a whirlwind week and I'm just kind of going with the flow. So no, I'm not going to be doing ballet in it that I am aware of. I think I'm just going to be an extra but I don't freaking care. This is my chance. I have not been performing in maybe 10 years now, and I have just longed to be backstage, to be a part of a cast, so I will take what I can get. I am not trying to be perfectionistic about this. I think it's just a great way to get my foot back in the door of getting on stage, and this has been a dream of mine forever, for my entire life. Whether I'm doing ballet or not, I don't care. If the opportunity presents itself, I'm gonna take it. However, it is all the way on Long Island. So, for the next few weeks, I will be, very ironically, commuting out of Manhattan <laughs> so I can go to the rehearsals and then get prepared for our performance in early December. So that's the plan. That's what I'm about to leave for now. I have to go catch my train. Thought I was moving into Manhattan to get opportunity here, and yet the Long Island vortex is sucking me right back in. But we'll take what we can get. Beggars can't be choosers, and I am very much a beggar right now. <laughs> yeah, so I'm very, very, very lucky to have such incredible friends just the most amazing people looking out for me and caring about this journey. So I don't really know what's going on, but more updates to come. I'm about to head out for this play rehearsal, whatever it is. <laughs> 
This thing I'm really hoping is not an audition. Probably should have gotten more information about this before I agreed to it, but you don't look a gift horse in the mouth, you know? Um, got my tea and I've got a lot of nervous energy. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't even know why I'm so nervous. It's not that big a deal, but I'm very nervous. I know you can't see me, <laughs> but I have missed driving. I have really missed just turning on music and vibing out. Also, it's so pretty here on Long Island right now. The leaves are changing. It's a really good time to be here doing this. I get to just be with my family and enjoy the weather. I'm excited. Good morning. I slept over my parents' house last night, so I am in my childhood bedroom. And yes, I used to have a shrine of Marilyn Monroe. Anyway, I have so much to tell you about what happened last night, so we're gonna get to that. But first, today is Halloween, so I'm gonna do some decorating with my mom, and yeah, then I will tell you all about what happened yesterday because things are crazy. This is our typo Halloween sign. If you notice, it doesn't actually say Happy Halloween, it says Happy Halloween. <laughs> this has been in our family for generations, so we just went with it. Gorgeous! Hi! Come here! Come on! Come here! Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about yesterday. Well, first of all, it was not an audition. It was a rehearsal. Thank goodness. But I didn't realize, I thought that I was just gonna be more of an extra in the background of this party scene. Like, I don't know, maybe just pretending to be at a party or something. But I get to dance a whole choreographed number. And yeah, so my friend Keith and I are gonna be partners. It's just so much fun. Like, I can't believe that I get to do this. But yeah, per true Veronica fashion, I got there horribly late because I went to the wrong location. <laughs> like, I, I just went to this location that my GPS told me to go to and it was some random person's house. I'm just like, I don't really think this is it. <laughs> so yeah, but everyone was super nice and chill about it. It wasn't really a big deal. I just felt bad. Then when I finally got to the proper location, they were doing this big I don't know if it was like a jack-o'-lantern carving contest or whatever, but it was at the same location that our rehearsal was at. And so the whole place was just like filled with all these people and there were all these gorgeous jack-o'-lanterns lined up everywhere. It just felt like being in a movie. It was so cool. It was so magical. And I wish I got that on camera, but I was just so panicked and stressed about getting there. And like, <laughs> I didn't know what to expect. I had no idea. And I'm really glad that I went in blind because because I didn't have any expectations, you know? So I was just able to be pleasantly delighted and surprised and like the second we started dancing, I just felt so in my element. I'm like, okay, I got this. I, I was made for this. I've been ready for this. I've been preparing for this for so long <sighs> and it feels really good. I really only get to do this because Keith's parents are actors. They told me about it and I get to do this because of them. So I'm very, very, very grateful. Yeah, I was actually at their house a couple weeks ago. We were all carving pumpkins together and that's when we were on the subject of acting and dancing and all that kind of stuff. So this all is happening because of them and that night and I don't know, this is just like the greatest autumn Ever. I don't know, everything's just coming together. Definitely nervous because it's a big production. Ironically, the 
theater and the performance and everything is gonna be out in the Hamptons, which if you know my story, that was where I attempted to try taking ballet the first time. Yeah, so ironically, I will now be doing my first ever Nutcracker performance in the town that originally rejected me. <laughs> so it all comes full circle, you know? I am on top of the world and I am allowed to film behind the scenes so you're definitely gonna get to see a little bit of how it all comes together. <laughs> I just can't believe this. I can't believe it. And now I'm just laying outside in the leaves and it's Halloween. I think I'm gonna make some cookies later and there's a million birds screaming. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have a pizza party. Just past few days, it's crazy. It's been my workshop, it's been Nutcracker rehearsals. I did go to a really fun Halloween party a couple weeks ago. I was at my friend's apartment back in Manhattan. But today, this is gonna be a chill family day. And honestly, that's my favorite kind of Halloween. We're just gonna turn on Harry Potter, give some kids trick-or-treater candy and it'll be nice so yeah here is to the next couple weeks to the next few weeks of nutcracker rehearsals <laughs> I was gonna go for a bike ride, but my bike is looking very flat. So I don't know if that's gonna happen right now. My parents have been working on this garden and these flowers just took off. They really got some great stuff out of it, but I think that's about it for this season. Okay, I'm gonna run up to the store and see if I can grab some cookie mix. Also, why am I constantly drinking tea? Because I'm freezing, I'm very cold. I could make cookies from scratch, but I don't wanna. <laughs> I'm just not in the mood. So let's see what they have.
Oh no. I actually just got back from the studio and I took a theater class today, which is really fun. I've been really, really enjoying this one class that I'm going to. And I really find that going to different styles actually helps my ballet a little more. I just feel like when I go into a style that is a little bit more free and I can kind of play more of a character, it really helps me not only emote in ballet a little bit more, but it's also kind of like if I'm in a style that I'm not as familiar with and it's not as comfortable for me, then when I get into ballet, I'm like, oh, okay, thank God I know what's going on. <laughs> Which I never thought I would say because ballet still feels very foreign in a lot of ways, but anyway, I very stupidly was practicing ballet in the tap room. There was a free tap studio, so I decided to just go do a little ballet warm up. And these are my ballet slippers. So I'm really hoping that I can get that fixed. I mean, it's not like it's the worst thing in the universe, but just getting all over my stuff. I'm not a tap dancer, so I don't even know what that is. I'm having some pad thai for dinner. Just thought you might want to know that. Just getting ready to leave for my second rehearsal, and I didn't really have the best day today, so sorry if I'm... A little low energy but I am trying to stay positive I'm hoping tonight is gonna feel good and I did get the okay to film some behind the scenes of our practices so I can show you a little bit more of what's going on
Out of stage fright, but so far I'm having a blast. Yeah, and I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. He's doing great. Keith is the only reason why I get to be in this play, yeah. and he's doing better than me. No. Hi, Jody. Hello. <laughs> We're in Sag Harbor. Yeah, we are. <laughs> and now Jody and Keith are gonna have their own YouTube channel, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 